Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf, and it's Five Thrift Store Friday. Yes, it's Five Thrift Store Friday, the happiest day of the week. And we are about to embark on an adventure today. We're gonna hit up at least five thrift stores and we are in search of vintage toys. So if you like vintage toys and you like thrift stores, you'll probably like my channel, so hit the subscribe button. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed today and we're gonna pray, 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 pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. All right, let's see what we got on the shelves. This is a Batmobile. That looks fun. Oh, look at that hot rod. What's this guy here? Oh, he's interesting. Wow, I had no clue. This is a man at arms from Masters of the Universe. It must be from that new animated series. Oh, look at this thing. It's got like a little computer dashboard on it. It's kind of cool. I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like it's some sort of fountain. Maybe some sort of Disney castle? Oh, look at this dude. Oh, he's pretty cool. Oh, there's a lightsaber. And I have no idea who that baseball player is, but his bat is busted off. Oh, here's another lightsaber, and we got a Five Nights at Freddy's Bonnie mask. That new movie's coming out, I think, in October. It's all cracked, though. The only vintage toy in here is this starting lineup guy, but I have no idea who that is. I don't even recognize the uniform. Oh, look at that gnarly looking rat. This is a bendable Batman. Well, here's a lion. He's uh, made out of rubber though. I was kind of hoping he was like that. I like rubber toys, but I was hoping he was hard plastic like that tiger I picked up here about a week or so ago. Oh, look at this raptor. Isn't he colorful? Oh, what do we got down here? Oh, we got a couple of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle giant floor puzzles. That's cool. Oh, look at this one. I wonder if all the pieces are there. All right, not a whole lot going on at Big Texas Thrift today, but but we did pick up some really fun and epic looking TMNT puzzles. Let's do a little show and tell. Check this out. Holy cow, guys. These look so good. They look so good. I'm seriously considering getting these put into frames because they're just so awesome. They're just such great display pieces. But we've got Raph over here. Looks fantastic. This is my favorite one, just because there's so much going on. I mean, we've got Ace Duck up here in the blimp. We've got Mikey swinging into action. We've got Wingnut. We've got Leo storming into battle with the turtle van. We've got Shredder. We've got a wanted poster of Krang. We even have some water dripping out of the fire hydrant over there. April O'Neil is on the scene. She's got a little camera in her hand. And then uh, we've got Raphael delivering pizza because it's always pizza time, even in the middle of a battle. We've got Splinter. And then we've got Donnie popping up from the sewers beneath. Man, that scene looks absolutely incredible. So glad I picked these up, man. These are awesome. This totally made my day. I gotta admit, those TMNT puzzles are pretty sweet and they are the first TMNT puzzles that I own. All right, guys, let's continue on in our search of vintage toys. Up next, we're gonna hit up the Goody Wheel to see what kind of goodies they got. All right, gang, we're at the Goody Wheel, and you know what that means. That means it's time for the Goody Wheel gang to rise up and hashtag below Goody Wheel gang gang and join me in the Goody Wheel anthem. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? So we are uh, gonna head in here, see what kind of goodies they got. Let's hope we score something big. 
man. I don't think they've had a restock on these shelves in weeks. This is probably the coolest thing here right now. Got this patriotic fire truck. Oh, look. We got a Jurassic Triceratops. Oh, isn't this thing fun? Oh yeah, that is cool. I'm not gonna get it, but that'd be a cool little diorama setup. So not a whole lot going on here either. The little camper thing was cool and make for a cool diorama, but I have enough junk as it is and I don't need it. So I passed on it. And now it's time to continue on with our adventure to try to find some vintage toys today. I want to find something from the 80s, man. Something to get the jazz flowing through my veins. So let's go hit up Thrift Giant. They do have a sale going on today, so I don't know what that's going to look like. Well, I have a feeling I know what it's going to look like. Long lines, crazy crowds, but maybe we'll get lucky and it won't be that bad. And if we do find something epic, epic we can pick it up and I, I and I won't actually mind waiting in line for it, but let's go check it out. Dang, it's an absolute madhouse in here right now. We got this Darth Vader. I think he's like a candy dispenser. And then we got this Minesweeper, but these shelves are pretty bare. There's not a whole lot left. I think a lot of it got picked over. Yeah, Despicable Me. Yeah, look at these shelves. Nothing. What's this, some sort of crystal ball, maybe? What's it do? I don't know how to turn it off, and it's annoying. Oh, there we go. Look at this thing. It's a holy cow. It's got angel's wings and I guess you attach it to the ceiling and it flies around in circles. Holy cow. I had to get out of there, man. Those crowds are nuts. Absolutely insane. I can't stand to be in this store anymore. Off to St. Vinny de Paul. Oh, St. Vinny's looks kind of wiped out too. Oh, we got a bag of Lincoln logs. Oh, look at this joystick. What do we got here? I got some Marvel figures. That's cool. $9.99 though. Dang. And I wonder what that goes to. Uh, this is a motorcycle that goes to that Ryan's World toy collection. It's that Ryan kid again. Yeah, these things are selling for about 10 bucks on eBay. They want 10 for it. I'm not gonna pay that price. That's ridiculous. All right, well, they're just announcing that everything in the store is 40% off, which would make this $6. I'm gonna still think about it. Oh, looky, looky. We got ourselves a fire engine red troll. It's from 2005. I don't see a sticker on them though, and they won't sell them to you if you don't have a sticker. Check out this little paratrooper. Off 39. I'll probably grab him too. I've got a little collection of these guys at the house. And oh, look at this. Some sort of maybe Mickey D's toy or something. Oh, that's cool. If you open it up, it's like a, like a maze game. You got that little ball. And I'm a parent. Oh, there we go. That's <laughs> because I'm not very good at that. Cool. Wow, look at this old Halloween lamp. Oh, I gotta get that. That is cool. That's definitely like 80s. Oh, we got this cute little fairy godmother back here. Check this out. This looks old too. Yeah, I love this time of year because they start bringing all their Halloween stuff out. Check out these two guys. Sounds like they're playing some Christmas music already. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. If his, uh, if his other wing wasn't broken, I'd probably get that. Check out this spooky thing. Oh, look what we got here. Ah, oh, that's cool. These are these stre the stretch screamers. We've got the creature from the Black Lagoon. 
This dude, there's like a coffin here. I wonder if there's like a dra- Oh yeah, it looks like there's some sort of dra- Oh yeah, there's a Dracula inside. That's awesome. We got these big old glow-in-the-dark spiders. I think they're glow-in-the-dark. They look like they could be. Got some bats. Oh, look at this cookie jar. Wow, that's pretty epic. Check out this pumpkin. Look how different that is. See how more detailed it is than these traditional ones? I'm gonna look this up and see if it's worth something. Well, this pumpkin belonged to Suhana, but uh, it is a vintage pumpkin. I don't know what era it's from, but I saw the listings, a bunch of them, and they said it's vintage. Look at this little dude. He's actually from 1990. He's missing his eyes, but uh, I think I'm gonna get him anyway. I'll just have Nicole put some eyes on him. Wow, I got a 1986 McDonald's pumpkin Happy Meal. That is awesome. Oh, look, here's some more. Are these from 86? Oh yeah, these are from 86 as well. All right, we're definitely gonna pick up all those. Yeah, we got, these two are different, and then these two are the same, and that one is the same as that one. Uh, this one here, this is the new one. See how they chintzed on the, uh, the lid? The old ones have, actually have the lids on them. So I was gonna get these things. They're selling for like 25 to $35 each on eBay, and they're selling like hotcakes right now because Halloween's just around the corner. However, somebody saw me picking these up and said, hey, you might wanna check the corrosion on them. I checked them earlier and they were the batteries were really corroded. So I opened them up and sure enough, there is a ton of corrosion in there. It could be possibly cleaned up and made to work, but I'm not willing to take that risk. Holy cow, I feel like Halloween claws. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys are not gonna believe. It. I got some epic stuff out of St. Vinnie de Paul and you're not gonna believe what I paid for it. Yeah, baby, yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Some vintage 1980s jazz. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. All, all kinds of Halloween, vintage Halloween goodness. And uh, man, big score with the, the little witch decoration and those 1986 mcdonald's happy meal pumpkins oh man those are like the creme de la creme of mcdonald's uh happy meal uh pumpkin baskets they've since made new ones you know throughout the years but none of them compare to the originals let's check them out halloween is a time for spooky costumes haunted houses and of course trick-or-treating for many halloween is incomplete without the colorful candy-filled buckets that children carry from door to door in the world of fast food and childhood nostalgia there's one iconic item that has made its mark on halloween traditions for decades mcdonald's halloween pails affectionately known as mcboo pails let's take a nostalgic journey through the history and charm of these beloved collectible containers. McDonald's unveiled its Halloween pails in the 1980s, revolutionizing the way children celebrated Halloween. These were no ordinary buckets, oh no. They came in a variety of whimsical shapes and sizes, featuring convenient handles for easy transport. From grinning pumpkins to friendly ghosts and enchanting witches, each pail embodied the spirit of Halloween. The moment these Pels made their debut, they captured the hearts and imaginations of children across the nation. McDonald's recognized the immense collectible potential and began releasing new Pell designs annually, stoking the excitement among young patrons. These collectibles weren't just containers, they were tokens of Halloween joy, fostering a tradition of collecting and sparking friendly competition among friends to acquire the complete set. In the grand tapestry of American culture, McDonald's Halloween pails have woven themselves into the fabric of Halloween celebrations. They have become more than just containers. They are symbols of nostalgia, creativity, and the joy of childhood. For many spotting a vintage McBoo pail in someone's home or thrift store or as a Halloween decoration brings an instant smile and flood of memories. 
For those who grew up in the 1980s and 1990s, McDonald's Halloween Pels hold a special place in their hearts. These Pels are not merely vessels for sweets, they are repositories of cherished childhood memories. The annual ritual of collecting McBoo Pels and putting them to use for trick-or-treating or as Halloween decorations forms a wellspring of nostalgia that many adults fondly embrace. Each Pell tells a story, preserving the enchantment of Halloween nights long past and serving as a heartwarming reminder that some traditions are timeless. Okay, so everything came to like $16.37, but but your your boy Burf is such a frequent customer at St. Vinny's. I had some points racked up and I got $10 off. So I got that entire haul for $6.37. How amazing is that? Oh my gosh. Absolutely thrilled. All right, off to the next store. All right, my friends. We are here. We're at the Goody Wheel, baby. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Ah, we're on a little bit of a vintage Halloween roll at the moment. Well, I just mean that, you know, we found a bunch of vintage Halloween stuff. Not that we found it at all, a bunch of different stores. Anyway, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, let's head in here. Let's see what we can find. All right, let's see. What do we got? Oh, look at this big guy. Oh, he actually has his remote control. You never see them with the remote control, like ever, at least not in the thrift store. Oh, look at that 300 piece puzzle. It's still sealed. Wonder if that's worth a little something. Well, turns out they're selling for about five bucks. So that's a big fat, you know. However, look what I just saw. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I'm totally getting him. What's this guy down here? What does he go to? Looks like it'd be like maybe some sort of game. Oh, does his mouth, oh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> that is kind of fun. I might pick him up, I think he's cool. Oh, we got a Batmobile. Let's see if there's a Batman inside. Nope, but there is one underneath. So we can put him down in there like that. Whoops. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we got an M&M slot machine. Oh, it doesn't really work though. Look at that, National Geographic Mega Science Series Amazing Reactions. That looks fun. Check out this laptop case. It's an Ed Hardy. And uh, these things are selling for like 30 to 40 bucks. And what do they want for it? Oh, $4? Plus my Goodwill hookup's working today, so I'll probably get it cheaper than that. I just found this Fred buried down in here in the plush. Now we've got this Tweety Bird. Kind of interested in this Fred. Oh, look at this little tooth plush. Curdo toy is what it says. Curdo toy. Hmm. All right, so this goodie wheel produced for us. We found something we could flip and make a little money off of, and we got a really cool Ghostbuster Slimer plush. Let's do a little show and tell. All right, first up, I got this really cool Ed Hardy laptop satchel. This thing's pretty awesome. It's selling for anywhere between 25 and $40 on eBay. What did I pay for it? Uh, $3.99. So I am gonna list this up in my eBay store and see if I can flip it. So I thought this was really cool. And I also picked up this epic Slimer plush. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that thing. Oh, I absolutely love it. There's so many like little details in it, you know, just the way the, you know, uh, the stitching is done on it. They gave him like cheeks, he's got this nose. You know, his tongue is sticking out. He's got these yellow beady eyes. Oh man, like this thing is so freaking cool. Let's see if we can slide him out here without knocking everybody over. Here's a picture of him from the side. But he is gonna look fantastic in my Ghostbusters collection. I actually picked up these 12 inch figures at Ollie's over the summer. I think I paid seven or eight dollars a piece for them. And they look awesome, they look great. But man, this Slimer just absolutely takes the cake. All right, gang, we got two more stops on the way. We're going to hit up 
a, another thrift giant, old thrifty pants, and we're going to hit up thrift shitty, you know, thrift city, the infamous thrift city, home of the inglorious glass case. So let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got and see if we can pull out a few more scores today. Guys, I'm at thrift giant right now, and this is absolutely insane. Look at all the people behind me. And then the line actually goes all the way around the store. Let me show you. Yeah, so check this out. This is the line right here. And then it goes all the way there. And then it goes all the way around there. And then eventually back here. Oh, it is absolutely nuts in here right now. I told you. And it goes all the way back there. And then all the way down there. <laughs> it's, just, it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. That is absolutely nuts. God, man, that is crazy. Okay, so Thrift Giant is a big fat no. No way I'm even gonna waste my time shopping in here. There's no way that I was gonna like stand in line for three hours just to buy one or two items potentially. So let's finish strong. Let's head on over to Thrift Shitty, baby. See if we can score some goodies over there. See if we can finish the day with some sort of epic score. Well, it was right here. We have the remnants of it. Dang it, someone else bought it. That sucks. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Oh, no way. No way. Oh, that's awesome. Someone picked it up and moved it. Nobody, nobody bought it. That is awesome. Oh yeah, looks like everything's there. Cool, so I can get it for half off. You can hook your gaming system up to it. Connect it with VCR. That's, all right, we're gonna get it, guys. We're gonna get it, finally, after all this time. There's no way I was gonna pay 50 bucks for it, but I'll pay 25. Just went back and grabbed this. Let's go ahead and put that in there. All right, look at this old school Fisher Price nursery monitor. Oh, wow. I wonder if that's worth something. That's like old school, old school. I wonder what year that was made in. Oh, 1989. I'm trying to decide if I want to get this because it's selling for like 25 to 35 bucks and I can get it half off today. And there was a couple of them sold just the first week of September here. So could be a good flip. Oh my God, guys, I waited in line for 20 minutes, 20 minutes to get that thing. And when I got up to the register, the clerk informed me that only clothes are 50% off today. Everything else is full price, full price. I waited in line 20 minutes to find out I was gonna have to pay full, full price. And guess what? I didn't, I didn't pay full price. There's no way I'm paying 50 bucks for that thing. It's not worth it. And that's why it hasn't sold in over two months. Come on, Thrift Giant, put that TV on sale so I can get it. <sighs> Maybe next time. But hey, if you enjoyed watching this content as much as I enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. It helps me out. It does help my channel grow. And I've got tons of videos on the channel you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.